Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome back to another lightsaber theory. So on today's lightsaber theory, I will be talking about various lightsabers and what their durability and their price points are. Are these things worthy of you buying if you so wish to and incorporating them into your routine? Will they hold up to combat and what sort of combat are they good for? So I will be starting at the bottom of the scale, which will be the light mid-range, some almost up to heavy range, depending on the model and the durability of the blade. But I'm going to be starting towards the bottom. What is the least useful in heavy dueling situations and which are the best that I have actually used? Because I'm not going to tell you about a saber and suggest that you buy a saber that I have not used. That would be stupid and it would make no sense. It would be like me telling you that I am some kind of expert on Star Wars lore and give you a trash movie that actually makes no sense canon-wise with the rest of the movies that have come out before it. So enough silly jabs right there and just trying to have some fun. So let's get into the first one that we're going to be using. So the first one up is the one that I'm using. It is the color is actually a... Uh, I would almost say like a pale green or a, like a lime green. There is no real distinction on what exactly the color is. So I, I'm just going to call it a lime or a pale green. So I want to make this very clear as I show the video of the actual footage where we're fighting with him. This is full strength swings. These are not half ass swings. We are actually swinging for defenses on these things. So we are trying to really test their durability. And they took quite a pounding, as you're going to see. Yeah, okay. Cool. One more. Hmm. So, in the end, the Platinum Saber blade did not really hold up to all the heavy dueling. Now, I also want to stress that this same saber has been used many other times in my lightsaber theories and has been used quite a bit in the dueling that we've had out in the backyards. And if you see some of my other videos, you will see the same saber being used. It actually has something like 11 or 12 different colors that are able to cycle, be cycled through, and it has various sound effects and whatnot. Considering that I roughly paid $98 and after shipping cost or whatever, it was about 108 or so, somewhere around that, that number. Considering how much that I've used it and all the damage that it's already taken, I'm actually quite surprised that this little blade is held up as long as it did. Now, when I went online to actually research and find out what these sabers were you know, what their price points were right now. I could not seem to find one under the Platinum Saber or Saber Platinum name. I actually found one under Saber Tech for $90 and free shipping. And pretty much another one, the exact same type of one that I actually had, which was Kyber and RGB 11 colors that, you know, changeable. And that one was running for $109.99. Now, I want to stress that the first one, even though it is basically the same saber, nowhere in it does it actually say that it is 11 different colors. It actually says it has vibration and pulsating effects and everything like that, but it seems to be only a single color blade. Now, the other one has got the 11 different colors, and that is more along the lines of what I paid, so the price really hasn't changed by much. Now, the other saber that I used against it, which the one that my daughter has, which we both have the exact same saber. It is a YDD model, and I will actually get into that in the next video. Hers held up, and it really didn't even take a scratch or a dent, so <laughs> it just goes to tell you that the uh, YDD, which is actually considered one of the cheaper models out there for sabers, is actually quite strong, and it was a little bit better than this one. Now, once again, Mine has taken a lot more abuse than hers, but it is what it is, and this one cracked, and when I looked at the cracked blade, I'm going to show pictures of that, it was a very thin-walled blade, and that may have led to it prematurely breaking. So my final thoughts on the Platinum Saber or would be the Saber Tech or the Kyber one, I'm pretty sure that they all roughly have about the same dimension 
uh, thickness in the uh, wall of the blade because all the blades are about the same height, you know, the same length, and they're all the same 7 8 tubing as opposed to most of the heavy dueling one, which are one inch round blades. And some of them vary in the thickness of the wall of the blade itself. And that's something I'll actually touch on later on when I get into some of the Ultra Saber blades. But I, I would say that this one is light to mid-range dueling. I mean, this thing can take some abuse, but if you start getting to heavy, heavy dueling, you do not want to have this one as your primary weapon. Maybe a good side weapon, maybe doing some flashy stuff, but other than that, eh, I, I would not recommend this as heavy dueling. It's, it's a fun saber to wield and do tricks with, and that's, you know, and light dueling, but that's about it. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like what you've seen, go ahead and destroy that like button for me. And of course, if you are new to the channel and like and you like what you've seen so far, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you all next time. Later, y'all.